Look, Scooby! Daphne's in a cage! Shaggy! Scooby! Over here! You go on and uh, try to find a way to reach that cage, Scoob.
Scooby Dooby Doo! Scooby Dooby Doo! Oh, Paul, Scooby Snacks! <laughs> Great, Great job, job Scoob, old pal. pal! Now hook the cage to the cable! Okay, now I'll activate this. music for an old guitar goal hit. Funny, it's attributed to N.S. Tennis ball. Maybe this comes from a midway attraction. Maybe it's a clue to the guitar goal's hideout. This is the hammer for the strongman's bell. Something important in there. This is a brochure for a circus sideshow. 
Perhaps we'll find clues to the guitar girl's identity there. Cool. We've got enough clues. Now we need to find which ones are real. I wonder how the guitar girl managed to sabotage all rides without anyone noticing. Interesting. The videotapes show an intricate network of tunnels connecting all rides. The guitar girl must have used them to move around unnoticed. There's something strange about that Alvin Wiener. I wonder how he's connected to this. Scooby, you won't believe this. Alvin Wiener was lead guitarist of Deaf Potatoes, a one-hit wonder band who once opened for the guitar girl. I wonder what Nikki's real relationship to the guitar girl is. Guess what, Scooby? According to the name on this sheet music, Nikki wrote the guitar girl's biggest hit. Of course, it all makes sense. Let's go find the others, Scooby. The guitar ghoul is about to be singing a new tune because this mystery is almost solved. So, you kids think that you can catch me? Think again. The guitar ghoul is unstoppable. Be warned, my music is always loud and the hits never stop. He's got to be broadcasting from the House of Mirrors. Let's go! Sausage for Scooby-Doo! 